Hey everyone, it's Armor Gaming. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to Monster Legends. Welcome to an exclusive first look at Uriel the Divine. That's right, we have a mythic version of the OG Resurrection Monster. Huge shout out to SP for giving me everything I need to make this video. They provided the monster all the cells needed to take him to rank 5. Any gems I use will be reimbursed and they also provided the food to feed this monster all the way to level 150. He looks absolutely amazing. Great monster design. He even has a cutscene as well. That is epic. So, so far I I've only seen Elvira and Uriel the Divine and I gotta tell you I love the designs I love the cutscenes and it's looking to be like season 4 is gonna be one of the strongest seasons of the Doomsday Era look at this rank 3 dodge area oh my gosh oh my gosh guys so since we're at the trade already Celestial stun and mega stun and bleed immunity hardened all status effects have 20% less accuracy against it at rank 3 you get area dodge by the way for those of you that don't know this is going to be the marathon monster which means if you want this monster you and your team are going to have to race get at least 10 laps so your whole entire team can get the monster unranked then you can just rank him up in the rank up survival dungeon he has dodge area so taunt dodge area mechanic is going to become even stronger and stronger and stronger like you don't even need to rely on the slumster anymore you can have uro the divine a strong attacker with dodge area the top monster, your top monster dies, resurrect it. Dies again, resurrect it. Dies again, keep resurrecting. Meanwhile, your attacker is attacking. It's ridiculous. At rank 4, um, you are cooldowns immunity, so you cannot get hit with CDA. And then you get a random torture at the start of the battle to all the enemy monsters. That is super powerful. So now you have the beasts. Now you have 7 sins. Now you have random torture. If you give this monster 7 sins, that's 2 random tortures against the enemy plus your beast. Oh my gosh, my, my head hurts. Keep in mind that Elvira actually counters... Because if you look at Elvira, Elvira actually has a status caster torture immunity for your whole entire team. So that's a little back and forth there. But let's see, Uriel was already there in the dawn of time. He's an angel, but you'll rarely see him with the Celestial Legions. He doesn't take part in wars unless a law of the universe or a sacred pact is broken. He only intervenes in historical moments, in historical moments to act as the supreme judge. This time he's here to judge the one who broke the peak of conciliation treaty, Lord Inheritor. His ultimate attack, the Chosen Angel, he deals very heavy earth damage to all enemies, removes positive effects from all enemies, disables traits, mega stun to all enemies. Phenomenal ultimate, this is the kind of ultimate that changes the course of a game. Too bad you don't g give yourself pierced because against Dodge Area Monster you'll still be in trouble, like in a mirror match. But I mean, so far from what we can see, phenomenal trait um, stats, that's what we need to take a look at. So, let's go to my handy dandy Excel sheet. So as you can see, all the Season 4 monsters are highlighted blue. You, you may have noticed you can't see Uriel on here. I am sorted by the highest life, which means we need to scroll down, 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 and take a look at that. He actually has the lowest life set in the game, tied with that of Shiv, Barbatos, Rex, and P3R3. These two are attackers. These two are more supportive-based monsters. So yeah, he's squishy, okay? He's squishy, but let's take a look at the power. He's also not an attacker, right? Also on the low end at 10,032. Tied with that of Weirdica, Piper Shock, Vizio, and P3R3. Vizio, by the way, being the other resurrection monster. I can already tell you, a Dodge Area resurrection monster blows Vizio out of the park. Although Vizio is, of course, a free-to-play monster. Technically, marathon monsters, I would consider them free-to-play. So they're both free-to-plays. Now, obviously, the teams that race and go to rank um, like Lap 85 and so on can get this monster rank 4 and above. So there's a huge advantage. But again, rank up Survival's Dungeon. I've been using Vizio there when I need a... Focus on ranking up a specific monster that dies easily and helps out a lot. Um, in terms of a speed set, he is a pretty fast monster. 7920, funny enough, tied with that of two new Season 4 monsters, Emerus and Golemnoid. So he's pretty fast. So he's squishy, doesn't deal a lot of damage, but he's a pretty fast monster. And he has dodge area, that's the coolest thing about him. Let's take a look at his skills. Oh, by the way, before we look at skills, take a look at relics. This monster can resurrect. If he dies, he comes back to life. How crazy is that? And of course, the staff, you never have to worry about stamina. So he's a resurrect monster with Dodge Area, who if he dies, comes back to life and can resurrect the rest of your team. Oh my goodness. And then in terms of Doomsday Talents, Pregatory Throne to protect everyone, or like I said, Seven Sins, and just give two random dots to the enemy at the start of the battle, plus your beast on top of that. Crazy stuff, guys. Crazy stuff. All right, we have Ancient Spell deals moderate earth damage to one enemy, applies curse to one enemy. Zero cooldown, zero stamina, you can curse the enemy. Light of God resurrects one ally with 1% life. Notice it has zero cooldown, so even if you got hit with a single CDA, that's fine. You, As long as you have the stamina, you can go ahead and res. And now, here's the thing about single resing like this. The way the churn order works, your monster's probably going to get killed if it only has 1% life, right? Unless you do the purgatory a mechanic. Because when you have purgatory thrown, if it activates, even if your ally is dead, 
When you bring that monster back to life, it actually comes back with Purgatory, so unless the enemy has a light-based monster to deal damage against you, your, your monster's gonna survive, and then you can attack, recover, do whatever you need to do. So just a little tip and trick there. We have Dollar, uh, dollar Dictum, deals moderate earth damage to when an enemy applies a random torture. So we have more dots, and I gotta say, I really love when monsters that are more supportive based, that are there to buff or resurrect or whatever it may be, when they can actually do something to the enemy, especially in the form of dots. Because they don't have a high power, they don't have strength runes, so at least you can dish out a damage over time skill or effect that will just take away a percentage of the enemy's life. Now, of course, you have to keep in mind some of the meta monsters in the game are immune to torture. Once again, we brought up Elvira, she gives the whole team status caster torture immunity. You could always cleanse that away. Poseidon is immune to torture perm permanently through Taster as well, Lord Inheritor as well. So something to watch out for. All right, we have Catholic Kong, which removes negative effects and applies life regen. Super useful, especially against a monster or for the monster you just resurrected. Holy Resurrection. Resurrects one ally with 50% life, gives damage boost and an immediate extra turn to one ally. I love this. Phenomenal skill. It reminds me of, um, of Necromancer. Warmaster Necromancer. Resurrect, immediate extra turn, and with a buff. That's crazy. Obviously, you gotta watch out for anticipation. That's gonna be the biggest thing, right? We have plenty of anticipation monster in the game, but this allows you to do so many things. Obviously, in the war scenario, this helps you secure three coins. Um, more so, depending who you resurrect, maybe that monster does a team buffing skill. Maybe it grants team evasion to the whole team. You can just do so much. Maybe you literally have your attacker ram into one of the enemy that has soul drag or something that you know is gonna kill you, but that's fine because you know you have Uriel to resurrect, right? So, for example, right now, Jaeger Yiran, here's our Pierce Doomsday monster. You attack someone, maybe you end up dying, that's fine, resurrect, come back to life, maybe you extra turn, you have Pierce mechanic, attack someone again. Like, this is crazy. This is so darn good. And he has 50% life. Uh, let's see. Calamitous Dictum deals moderate light damage, applies possession. So you can even possess the enemy, you can deny. So, not only are you a resurrect monster, you are also a denier in terms of possession. So now this opens up the possibilities of maybe you run Uriel with Spear of Destiny, remove positive effects. That way you can do that and also possess enemy monsters. This is, by the way, a 10% light damage and a guard down, essentially. So again, you have a new dot you can possess. I don't know, man. You have some pretty cool, unique stuff you can do. And if you're running this monster with three life or three speed runes, so we'll talk about runes later, but typically with, the, with Resurrect Monsters, I like to do like single life, two team speed. But there's an argument for giving this monster 3 speed, have him be super fast, that way if one of your other monster does dies, you get a lot of turns into where you can resurrect. You can immediately go and bring him back with 50% life, and then follow up with a heal or something. Or you possess the enemy monster and then you resurrect next turn when it's safer. So there's also an argument for 3 speed on a resurrect monster like this. Impure Resurrection resurrects one enemy with 1% life. I can tell you I don't like this, do not run this, it's not a good mechanic. It applies possession, so the idea is you resurrect the enemy, but they're possessed so they attack their own team. For all you know, the enemy um, has hardened, or just about every monster has hardened, tough, bulwark, whatever. So maybe you resurrect them, but they don't get possessed, so the possession doesn't land. So that's not useful, right? You do give yourself an extra turn, so that's why I do like it, but uh, I, I'm just not a fan of it, right? Um, the only secure way is if you resurrect someone who's who you know for a fact is going to get possessed, so someone that doesn't have hardened. Obviously, don't resurrect anyone that has immune to possession. That'll work against you. We'll try it, but I'm not a fan of it. <laughs> I'm definitely not a fan of it. Uh, let's see. Ethereal Nimbus. Moderate earth damage to one enemy. Removes positive effects from one enemy. Then from all enemies, applies curse to all enemies. Oh, yeah. So you don't even need Spirit of Destiny. It really would be like three speed. Ethereal Nimbus. Remove positive effects. Get rid of status cast from Megaton. Get rid of anything else. Everyone is cursed. Um, not to mention your random dot at rank five. Not to mention the random dot. If you're. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so crazy what this monster can do. Yeah, I think three speed, I think two team speed, single life. You can play around with different mechanics. Um, Custody Dictum deals moderate light damage, applies possession and double damage to an enemy. Again, you are single denying. You're giving the, you're giving double damage. The double damage is guaranteed. The possession is not always guaranteed based on what the enemy has. You would need increased accuracy to make sure you never miss that possession, you know? So, not the biggest fan of it. I, yeah, I, I think I would steer away from them, but it depends on the situation. I think it's better to have the chance to possess the enemy and the not. That double damage though, I think I would have liked it if the skill didn't grant double damage. Especially because you're not always possessing the attacker, right? Sometimes you need to possess the deny monster, so why give him a buff? Um, Archangelic Nimbus removes positive effects from one enemy twice, deals curse to an enemy. So this is for those dodge area monsters where it's like, hey, let me single target you. A monster can have positive effect protection and evasion, and you're fine. So like, let's say Slumster does follow me on himself, positive effect protection evasion, dodge area, 
Nimbus, and effect is gone. Uh, Torment Dictum applies a random torture. Random dots to everyone, so more dots. Resurrects allies with 50% life. Personally, I've never been a fan of the team resurrection skill. I feel like it's never needed. Again, most of the way the way you set up a team, it's like resurrect, mega top monster, top monster, maybe attacker. Typically, you're not going to lose two of your monsters, especially in that scenario. Maybe if you're running um, two non-dodge area monsters, then maybe they will both die and then you can pure resurrection. But almost always, it's better to let me resurrect, give an immediate extra turn, and then that monster can do something. You know, but... That's just my take on things. Um, lots of skills to choose from. How do we run this monster? It's it's difficult to decide. Um, for sure your must-have skill, I would say, is Holy Resurrection. Again, Resurrect, immediate extra turn is too good to, to not run. I like being able to cleanse. Again, I'm going to support a route. So, Resurrect, Cleansing, and Life Regen. I like removing positive effects. I'm good with the AoE skill. So, this one, Ethereal Nimbus, removes positive effects from one enemy, then from all enemies. I'm good with that. And then the last and final skill, let's see. Possession, AoE Possession. The question is, do you really need AoE Possession? If you have this monster, if you have this monster go, I don't know if you need a Team Possession. Although I like that it doesn't give the double damage, because again, you don't, you shouldn't rely on that. So part of me wants to recommend this setup. Um, I think you can do without Ancient Spell. You can do without Light of God. Uh, random Torture to one enemy. You can do without Dollar Dictum. Pure Resurrection, honestly, if you want to have both the res skills, you can. Go for it. Maybe on a defensive build, you can do Pure Resurrection. Probably, yeah, for sure on a Resurrection build, I would do Pure Resurrection and the immediate extra turn. This monster might be a meta PvP monster. Uh, let's see, Resurrects one enemy with 1% life. Again, I'm not the biggest fan of it. Not the biggest fan of it. But maybe you bring back, like, the Taunt monster, the Mega Taunt status caster monster, and then it's not a big deal. You give yourself an extra turn, you cycle into something else. Maybe you kill the monster, you just res too, right? Impure Resurrection, immediate extra turn, and then kill them just to reset the cooldown on some of these other skills. So there's some uses for it, but not the biggest fan. Single possession, I kind of liking it over the AoE possession. But again, that double damage is what scares me. But we'll try it out. We'll try it out. Um, so let's assume we do that. Um, Runes-wise, let's give him... We're just going to go... I'm curious for the three-speed mechanic build. Maybe since he's 130 right now, I'll go with a single life. Maybe t even team speed. We'll try this out since they're mutant runes, and we'll see how well it works or doesn't work. I am super, super excited for this. Okay, since I don't have him maxed out, I'm going to go with Purgatory Throne. And then we'll definitely partner him up with Elvira, uh, Masher, Sapphire, Stamina, and we already talked about Revival Essence. It's the only Essence to go, Uriel's Essence. That feels good. But again, oh my gosh, when he's ranked 5, we're going to do Sin Eaters, and the enemies are going to have so many dots. Uh, we have the Fire Beast right now. Let's stick with the Fire Beast. Actually... I'd probably want to go with more life, so a good time to use the Poison Beast. So reduce enemy damage output, increase your life. That feels good. And I think we are fine. So here's the cool thing. If Stock Killer dies, we can just Rezzer over and over and over again. Give an immediate extra turn, utilize UA. Oh, this is going to be great. This is going to be great. Of course, since I am using a monster given to me by SP, I'm not allowed to win the battles. So if it looks like I'm going to win, I will just be exiting out. All right, so what do we have? We do have a Megaton monster, Rotten Bananas. Ooh, he looked like... Oh, he almost died. Okay, so I just protected him with Purgatory. Um, let's see what we can do. So remove positive effects and curse. Um, that's honestly probably the best play to do. Uh, removes negative effects, life regen. I guess I could help Pango, but uh, I think we're fine. So let's go ahead. Well, I also don't need to remove positive effects, really. So you know what? Let's go with the, with the remove negative effects and life regen, because we're going to need that on Pango. So, here I'll just go and attack the main attacker, Dark Volt. Technically, um, Fruit Taster is also a main attacker. Alright, and then Purple Volley. Oh, we, we can actually kill Fruit Taster, but we want him to kill my Pango, so we'll just let it be. Tooth by Tooth, and a Recharge. Alright, if he can, he's going to take a while to have that Photophobic Shield. So, see how it helps me out. So, I'm good for now. Mud, oh, they might not be able to kill me. Recharge. Um, let's remove positive effects from everyone. There we go. Boom. Healthy salad. All right. We're going after you. Sort of not really. All right. Still have that photophobic shield to help me out. Um, let's try out that possession skill. So, see? Damage increase, but no possession. So, if you bring that resurrection skill, sometimes you res, but don't possess. Just because of their traits. So, that's what you got to watch out for. So, that's why I'm not the biggest fan of it. And maybe I would do the AoE just to prevent that. Um, let's just... No, we're trying to die. Let's recharge. Uh, quick shots. 
and that's tooth by tooth. Oh, come on, dear AOE. All right, uh, removes negative effects, holy res, we don't need it, recharge. And this is why for PvP purposes, you see why I don't like both the revival skills. Most of the time you don't need them, but maybe it depends what kind of league you're in or what kind of monster you have. If you have lower level monsters, maybe it would be beneficial for you to have that. So when the situation calls for it, bam, immediate resurrection. And then if you have a Megaton monster, shield up. Look at that. Just like that, I'm good to go. So that's what I love about it. Three chain cooldown, huh? And then this is where that life regen comes in and help him stay alive. Recharge, look at that, heal, nice. And then shield up, look at that, staying alive, protected him. And then all these monsters, all these other skills help to remove positive effects, apply dots to the enemy, do all that stuff. And then um, let's go purple volley. Um, banana's dead, um, but I can bring him back. Let's see, we can't even possess this monster. Uh, we don't want to do that. Let's try possession again. Hey, possession landed this time. Rotten berries. All right, hero pose. Um, let's go for you now, just to get rid of you. Nabota's armor, master's staff, stamina regen, and you're back again. And protection again. And do all oh, healthy solid. And then boom. You know, you see, so like being able to res immediate extra turn, that just opens up so many doors, so many possibilities. It is great. Oh. It is fantastic, especially with a monster like Pango that has per megaton that can do that damage mirror. It is so darn good, guys. It is so darn good. You saw that in action. Um, what did we not want to do? Okay, so that possession, double damage. We gotta, we we have to try impure resurrection. So you guys can see why I don't like it. <laughs> Let's do this. Yeah, I can literally crash into a soul drag monster and not even worry about it. Um, fight. Let's do this. Is Brutaster gonna kill my Pango right away? We'll find out. Ooh, shock and poison and drowned and everything. Rotten bananas, kill streak, mud, purgatory. So staying alive. So um, let's help him out. He can remove positive effects. So my pango might be in trouble. All right, my turn. Uh, time to shine. Let's see. What do you have? Ruby trap after being attacked. We're under control. Ancient cloak. Ooh, that is scary. Um, let's see if we can't. Well, we'll purple volley and then we'll finish him off. I think the snowgrass might have a seven sins. I think that's why I had a random effect. Unless that was Teddy Bomb's ability. Uh, quick shot, purple, eye by eye, doesn't matter. Ooh, I could actually kill you. No, it's fine. Let's just finish him off. Frosty says hi, wormholes trap, Ruchal's armor, rotten berries, kill streak. Ouch. Alright, um <laughs> I'm not gonna do it yet. We'll wait for that. Um Let's bring back Pango. Gotta protect and shield up. Alright. Healthy villain, take that. Oh, it, you do have a seven cents. All right, so I gotta be careful attacking them. Seven cents again. That damage mirror is killing me. Oh, cleansing, gotta love cleansing. Support build is great. Dead, healthy villain. All right, let's see if we can't finish you off. Uh, Root shot, dreams mask. After me, damage risk of warrior's life is below 50. All right, that'll take a while. Um, we'll quick shot. We will eye by eye. We'll purple volley. Gotta get that magic weakness in. Dreams Mask, Recharge. The cool thing is, even if I die, there's a good chance I come back thanks to my, well, like I make a whole comeback thanks to my resurrection. Uh, we'll remove positive effects. And Curse, Seven Sins, Rotten Berries. All right, so finish you off, boom. Watch, here, let's try not to win. Actually, let's see what happens. <laughs> I'm scared, I don't want to res. Let's try, let's see it though. Okay, see, I rezzed him back, but I wasn't able to kill him. I wasn't able to possess him. Thanks to his traits. So that's why I'm not a fan of that skill. Um, we can bring back my monster. What do we do? Let's just life regen. <laughs> oh no, I knew that would happen. But again, maybe if you have a skill that can follow up and kill the enemy, you're fine. All right, so bam. Good thing I kept the skill. Quick shot and bam. There we go. You can make a complete comeback. Recharge. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let him kill my monsters. Frosty says hi, recharge. Let him kill my monsters, right? All right, pony eyes, whatever, recharge. Oh, dead. And, but then you can, you make a complete comeback. Oh, he comes back with the dots, though? That's news to me. All right, let's bring him back. Oh, he does, interesting. Nano, and that's, I feel like that's a glitch that SP needs to fix, because I don't think it should be mechanically like that. After being damaged, just worse, life is below, gives armor and damages. Okay, we are gonna exit out, just because I don't want to accidentally win, actually. I think I'll be okay. We're just gonna, we can't shield up. We're gonna recharge. I think we'll be okay. All right, cleanse, life regen. Frosty says hi, pango amulet. All right, recharge. Look at my pointy eyes, recharge. 
And look at that, I was able to make a complete comeback. So I'm telling you, in a war scenario, bam, just like that, monster all back. Oh my gosh, this monster is so darn good. Such a fantastic monster. You cannot miss out on this monster, guys. He's too good of a monster to pass up. What if we don't even go with like in a typical attacker setup? I can do the pierce mechanic. I have so many different options. What about like double attacker setup? <laughs> is this gonna work? Let's see if this works. Demonic pack? Do I run demonic pack and just res everyone? Um, 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 what to do, what to do. Let's run burnt blood. Um, let's try out, because I'm doing two attackers, let's see what happens if I do run the team possession skill. So I won't run, well see, yeah, you guys saw why I don't like res. Uh, resurrects all allies. Let's try that skill out. And maybe I should, this is maybe a situation where I three speed. Oh, this monster is so darn good. All right, let's see what you have. Fight, I think I'll be okay. I can let him like obliterate my attackers, no problem. Supreme fun. Oh, there means a stand, I had evasion over here. Uh, we'll remove positive effects. Higher life, 107, 101. Oh no, you are 101, 107, oh no, hmm. Um, what to do, life regen? I can give him life regen, nothing. I guess it's a recharge in this case. Um, demonic angel, boom. Bunch of dots, bunch and a bunch of dots. Um, laser, oh wow, too strong, too strong. Purple volley, UA, mud body, and boom, gotta love that evasion at the start of the battle from Elvira. Graced, explosive gifts, lots of dots. We need to torture. Um, I could cleanse, but no, we're trying to die. So, recharge, let's remove your positive effects. And a curse. All right, we're just gonna recharge. We wanna lose both my attackers. Maybe a different team that will kill me faster. I'm gonna let it take these glasses. We're just gonna recharge. <laughs> I gotta get rid of Purgatory, it's taking too long. All right, you're supposed to be able to remove my positive effects. Come on, Teddy Bomb, there you go, Supreme Fun, trying to stun me. We're gonna recharge. Yeah, maybe two speed, one life, team speed, all speed, like you're seeing different builds and this is a 130 the dodge area mechanic is just so powerful in monster legends that you're seeing it play out and work out wonderfully um i could rest but i'm not gonna rest so i lost both of my monsters candy cane hits explosive gifts doesn't do anything pure res and they're both back to life just like that oh my gosh too good too good guys too good we'll do another attack then we'll go to 150 then we'll mess around with all the crazy amount of dots i can do with uriel because I could run that team um, random dot skill. It really depends on the enemy. If you're facing too many dodge area monsters, then it becomes annoying there. All right, hate suppression first thing. Good thing I have Nimbus. Remove positive effects, so I can attack two of them. Um, we can do demonic or demon behold. Oh, there we go. Kill Zul. Oh, sorry, taunt. Should have done the AoE. Um, quick shots. Now I can kill Zul. Eeltron's mask or not, recharge. It's almost like you can be a little careless now. Oh, oh, you trade anticipation. I have resurrection. All right, tooth by tooth, purple volley, eye by eye. Let's go with tooth by tooth, UA, and then finish you off, quick shot. Finish off Zul, you know. Um, let's do tooth by tooth, look at that. Boom, anticipation to help Uriel stay alive is nice. And then purgatory protects me, life regen. Let's get back to full life, everyone. Recharge, recharge. Um, don't need to do anything. Recharge. Oh, you have a lot of dots on you. Maybe. Oh, evasion. Protect, right? Let's see. I think we'll stop here. Oh, he's so good. Guys, you cannot miss out on this monster. I can't stress it enough. Do not miss out on Uriel. Race. Get your 10 laps in or be first in your pool. Just, you cannot miss out on this monster. Okay, so now we officially have the monster at rank 5. Um, we are gonna... Honestly, we'll stick with his build. I think he'll be fine. Uh, we are we are gonna do seven sins though, so it's super deadly on him because Like one of the reasons it's so good on Snowgross is because even if Snowgross dies he comes back to life Then he has a chance to recover life and everything so then you can keep activating remember this has six uses after its initial one so That helps out a lot. So non-stop dots to the enemy random torture over here um, We're gonna mess around with the different skills. So we're getting rid of the team res We'll put in the torture which again. I don't necessarily think the monster needs but we'll use it um, the double cleansing, life regen I like. Yeah, so we put in the torture, even though he doesn't really need it. Um, it's just for fun. Um, here I probably, if I'm, it's, it depends who I'm trying to showcase, right? Um, I still have Galvanus. Should I do some play with anticipation or something? I guess I could, huh? Oh, so many possibilities. 
Poseidonia, lots of healing. Um, just because this monster already has team speed, we'll use him. We'll give you. I think this is my. This is a. I need a monster for team wars. So I gotta make sure your team wars, your team wars, or you're not team wars, but showcasing you. All right. So you're good to go. And honestly, I do. I probably would need someone that can trade disable. Like a chill long just to make sure that I could apply dots to the enemies, but that's fine. We'll just do like a few showcases. So we'll do this and let's see it play out. Fight! So again, you have your beast, you have yourself with the random torture, you have seven sins with the torture. Oh my gosh, watch the enemies. Seven sins, beasts, and then effects. All right, what do we have? We have shock poison, we have poison. So it was double poison, we have sunburn poison. My goodness. All right, what happened? Did I not change uh, random? So I, I do a random, right? So two, shouldn't that have been three? Applies one random towards the top enemies. What happened? Oh, the evasion counter acted? Perhaps? Let's see. Uh, we'll do another one. Um, boom, now you get curse. All right, so you have curse, poison, sunburn, pain distiller. You have too much. Supreme fun. All right, mud. Uh, let's see, you're free to play. Churn transfer, we can churn transfer. All right, torture, so more dots, although he has pain distiller. All right, um, cleanse and life regen. Red Sea Wave, Tertullian's Armor, Mud Body, Pain Distiller, Pure Implosion, I like Dragon City. Um, can't use that yet. Recharge, free to play, Candy Cane hits. Oh, he's gonna end up killing himself. Ah, <laughs> uh, poor guy. All right, um, and this is really all we have for the dots. So quick sense, everyone. Recharge on your end. Um, cleanse, let's get rid of that stun. Cane of Atlantis, watch what you learn. Um, pure implosion, we can do it. Stun, freeze. I like Dragon City, Burnt Blood. And um, shield up. Um, remove positive effects, no need to do recharge. Master stuff, and just when they think they kill Pango, watch me bring them back to life. All right, more dots, poison shocks. You get the idea, right? Again, I don't necessarily recommend it considering torture isn't the best mechanic to win with, um, but it is a viable mechanic. Um, let's do this. We'll use this next turn. I think it's the trade disable mega stun skill. Remove positive effects, trade disable mega stun, right? Chosen angel. Yeah, there it is. Oh, dead. Um, helper of the week together, my friends. Let's cleanse. And then more dots. And then he's dead. It comes back to life. Yeah, yada, 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 yada. All right, again, we want to see the crazy amount of dots. I would still recommend an attacker, so no no pure pandoff. I would do, let's put in, whoops, let's put in my stock killer backer, Elvira Demon Slayer. We're still, we still need a main attacker to finish off the enemy fast. We just want to do a bunch of dots for fun. And it's funny because I haven't even used a top monster with this team. I haven't used like Slumster um, <laughs> and, and Synthrace or Clash or anything. All right, so one monster means to torture. We have two dodge area monsters. Ah, uh, bleh. All right, we have Poison and Curse. Dark Overdose, Laser Beam Sword, Mud Body. Again, permanently immune to torture is annoying. Laser, Mud, okay, he's gonna die. Yep, he's dead, that helped out. Um, we would do, let's do this, remove positive effects. And we would go after the Teddy Bomb. Look at all those dots, oh my gosh. That cannot save you, that Pango's Amulet cannot save you. Oh, I lost my monster. Oh no, whatever will I do? Come back to life. <laughs> this monster is too good. SP. SP, man. Like, they just released too good of a monster. All right. Um, are you able to unequip the beast? I wonder. All right, let's exit out. Um, so what's going on? So random torture. At the start of the battle, plays random torture to all enemies. I haven't seen three against the enemy, and I have seven sins. So again, we should be seeing poison plus two random ones, unless it like poison stacking. Um, but let's showcase Slumster. Slumster's on defense. Oh yeah, this is what I'm using right now. Um, let's put you, oh, 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 what time is it? Do I, oh no, I think we're fine. He's supposed to be on defense. War has started, war has not started. Okay, good. All right, uh, change team. So let's put Slumster in here. Slumster and let's put whatever Megaton monster I have. Honestly, this would be a really good day time to, if you have Clutch, if you had Clutch, um, he can run 7 Sins. Where is it? He's going to be taking hits, right? So he runs 7 Sins. Um, you buff him up. Like, this is a really good play. I don't need all that team speed, but honestly, again, if he dies, it doesn't matter. So we'll do that. 
Um, and then this monster, you don't need the torture skill. Um, you you run, where is it? Run, Predatory. So that way that photophobic shield can save you. You res, you have two dodge area monsters, a taunt monster. Um, I'm going to make Slumster an attack. <laughs> I'm going to make him attack. <laughs> All right, let's do this. <laughs> just to show like the, the bizarreness and craziness you can do with Uriel because he just opens up so many crazy possibilities. All right. It's, honestly, I'm winning with like a bunch of dots. Uh, but there we go, immune to dots again. Two monsters immune to torture. Bleh. How annoying. All right, um, we are going to remove positive effects from the enemy, I think right away. Therion Nimbus to the sewer. Um, package bomb. Ooh, look how much damage I deal. That's nice. Uh, we're going to package bomb then. All right, hard as a rock, damage mirror. Run, anchor, hidden shiv. Oh, I'm going to die fast, <laughs> but I'll res. Seven sins. Merchants of Souls. All right, come back to life, buddy. Olive, hidden shiv. All right, I am going to die. With the dots. Oof. Alright, maybe this was not the smartest idea. Um, take a juice or sewer. Mm, let's just get rid of the poison. Um, yeah, I was supposed to swap this skill out, but I don't think it would have mattered. Life regen. Um, 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 can't do anything. We'll recharge. Yeah, I, I don't need that torture skill at all. Uh, let's remove positive effects twice. Was it not twice? Once. Ooh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh oh, maybe I lied about being able to do crazy dumb stuff. Run, anchor, hit and shiv. Oh, I wish I had that uh, team res skill now. Oh, the chosen angel, there is a possibility to come back. Mm, the question, oh look, here's the. Here's what I meant when, what do I wanna do? Here's what I meant that you are able to res and they have purgatory on. Um, I'll do clutch. He'll save me, I hope. Rich, um, let's damage mirror. Oh wait, I have Purgatory. Maybe not the best play. Um, Chosen Angel removes positive effects. Trade disable Mega Stun. I think I have Slumster helping them out. All right, Olive of the Sea, Seven Sins. If if it wasn't too immune to torture monsters, I would have been fine. Uh, positive effect protection, torture dictum. I don't want to waste it. Recharge, package bomb. Um, remove positive effects twice. Run anchor sweep. I come back. I think he's gonna kill me. <gasps> I'm alive. Oh, I'm dead. Okay. Slumster attacker was not the smartest, but to be fair, we took on two monsters that are immune to dots, and I have seven sins, and I still didn't switch out the random torture skill, but that's fine. And now we have one. All right, ignite poison. It's not activating, huh, guys? Yeah, it looks like his his rank five is not activating, unless seven sins is count. Wait, wait, never mind. Drown shock poison. No, but he's a megaton. Oh, so I think he just absorbed it all. Okay, I think that's what happened. All right, yeah, because if you if you do this on a monster that has Megaton, obviously they absorb it all, so you apply a bunch of dots. And like Bleed was blocked in that case. Ignorance is Bliss, Absolute Zero, Seven Sins. Here we go, this mechanic will work out. Um, let's Protect. Mediterranean, Emergorms, Divine Energy. Uh, we will, we don't need a Megaton. Um, Heart as a Rock. We will do Nimbus. All right, positive effects are gone. Lots of dots on the enemies. Corrupted Dragon. Ooh, take the seven sins damage. Chilean's armor as well. Attacker, let's go. Um, take a juice. Let's just attack over here. Um, we can heal. Let's heal. Let's give you back your taunt traits. Dead. Corrupted Dragon. Oh, take the seven sins damage and stamina drain. So good. All right. Ryan's Trap, Sacred Staff. Dead. Mr. B spanner kicks in. Yeah, so this is like something you could definitely do on the freeze. Something you could definitely do in a war scenario. And just win this way. Cleanse purgatory to heal. Uh, more dots. Boom. I could lose anyone and I could just bring them back. It's crazy. Little hamsters. Also trade disable. Now we can do a bunch of dots. Life regen. Get to 100 percent life. Crazy stuff, guys. Crazy stuff. Let's daze you. Let's remove your positive effects. Let's attack her. Let's attack her slumster. Let's do dots and let's call it a day. Guys, you do not want to miss out on this monster. I can honestly probably record for like another hour talking and boasting about this monster. He's obviously really good. You do not want to miss out on him. He's one of the best monsters. Meta monster for sure. He's he's like must have monster if you want to excel in this game. Again, he can res, he can hold revival, phenomenal skill set. 
you don't want to miss out on him, guys. Let me know what you guys think about him in the comments below. Let me know if you want me to showcase anything with him. But, oh, God, he's so good. Thank you guys very much, and remember to subscribe.